Hey guys, Tim here again, Tim's Computer Fix.net. Today I'm going to show you a free and easy way to remote into any of your computers as long as you have a Google account. We're going to be using Google Remote Desktop to gain access to any computer that is logged in to your Google account. So let's go ahead and we'll open up a Chrome browser which is also mandatory so you have to have a Google account using Google Chrome and I am logged into my account here and we are going to go to remote desktop dot Google dot com I'll have the link down in the chat at the bottom but we are now on that page we are on the Chrome remote desktop page and from here basically what we're going to do is install a service and you just follow the steps on this site here and uh, you'll be able to install their remote desktop service and gain remote access to any computer that you have this service installed on but this is the big thing too though really important this also supports Android and iPhone or Apple products so that's a plus so let's go ahead and scroll back up to where we have the get started button all right we'll go ahead and click that and this is going to be your main page here where you access all of the computers that are ready to be remoted into from your account here. So what we're going to do, so this right here is I'm doing this on the computer that I want to remote into. So I have to install this first. We'll click the setup remote access icon here. and it wants to add the Chrome Remote Desktop extension we will allow it add extension so the extension here has been added up top as you can see right here and also down at the bottom we have also downloaded the application so I will just open this up and this will install the service Click yes so that has now been installed so then we want to accept and install the application and you can name this whatever you want I've been messing around with this and this is going to be the name of the computer this computer that I want to remote into We'll hit next and then we're going to choose a six digit or more pin number so this will be the pin number that we have to access when we go to remote into this computer I'll just put mine in there and then we will repeat it and we can click start And we'll allow this so now as you can see on my remote my Chrome remote desktop main page I have this computer here added to it and what it is doing here is trying to start the service so just uh, give it a, a minute or however long it takes for it to begin that service and then we can go from there okay now as you can see we are now being reported as online this means that the service is running on this computer and is now ready to be accessed also note that your little extension up here just brings you back to this page it's just a real quick access to it if you click get started it's going to take you right back to this main page which is pretty handy this computer can be accessed on any computer 
even on Linux, as long as you're using Chrome and you're logged into your Google account, you can access this computer from anywhere. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open up a bit of Photoshop here, just to just so we can get a a screen or give a scenario here. I'm, I don't want to do all of this uh, from a screencast point of view here. I'm going to actually physically go over to another computer in my in my shop. So so let's just. Take this blank Photoshop page here that I have, or this, I haven't started a project yet. Let's just open that up, and let's just say uh, something's going on or whatever, and I have to go to another room in the house uh, in order to work on a project or something, say a Photoshop project. This is just a scenario, guys. So, so what I'm going to do now, hopefully this will work out right with the way I'm doing this. I'm trying to make it easy for everybody to understand. So let's just say I have to go to another computer on the other side of the house for whatever reason that does not have Photoshop installed on it. And I still need to get my work done for whatever reason. This is a case scenario. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the other side of my house to another computer. And I'm going to show how we can access this computer from there. Okay, now I am on the computer and the other side of my house. I need to get some Photoshop work done. I don't have it installed on this machine. So let's let's get remoted in on my other computer here that does have Photoshop on it. So first of all, we have to have Chrome open like we have here. We have to be logged into my account, which we are here. And then we have to do the same thing we did on the original computer, which is remote desktop dot google dot com and as you can see we are on the same starting page as we were before we just hit the remote access button up here and now you can see that the computer that I labeled crusher is available so that is what we're going to remote into I just click on it and then it's going to want me to enter the pin that I used to originally set that up with you can tell it to remember that pin so you don't have to type it in every time your choice you can tell it to save here also your choice but there we have it we are now remoted into the computer that has my Photoshop on it. And we can just, if we want to go larger, we can. We'll go full screen, make things a little bit easier to read. Looks pretty darn good. Let's just play around with it here a bit. Very nice. It's looking like it's working great. It's um, very responsive so you don't have sound coming through from the other computer so that's one thing to keep in mind another thing to keep in mind is that you don't have a way through this interface to uh, transfer files but one way that you can do that is that you can use Google Drive to transfer your files back and forth. But uh, that's pretty much it. And the great thing about this is, again, you can use this with Linux. You can use this on uh, an, um, an Apple a tablet, uh, an iPad. You can use it on, a, on any Apple computer or uh, an Apple iPhone. You can use it on any Android device or Android tablet works really well I like it for basic uh, remote desktop that you need to access your own computers I wouldn't recommend trying to use this in a 
uh, if you're supporting clients or in a business situation. So you don't always in situations have to have it through your Google account because there's another option here. If you look at remote support, minimize that remote support. If you click that, you can let someone else access this computer and you generate a code. And when you when that code is generated, you simply copy this and then you can paste that into a document or something and send it to whoever you would like if you want to share your screen with them. So that may come in handy in a business situation or whatever if you want to, uh, you know, if you have a simple situation there with a business or something or a client that you need to show them something uh, on your computer. But that's it. I mean, it's a really great tool. Chrome Remote Desktop. Tim'sComputerFix.net is where you can find me. Hey, head down there. Click that like button. Tick that bell to get notifications when I upload new videos. Tim'sComputerFix.net. Okay, everyone. See you soon.